Hey food coordinators, I'm Catherine and I'm here to give you some really good information for what's to come for the season when it comes to fueling our athletes. So I have this great handout here that I've put together that has some very specific um, recommendations for fuel, hydration, and then some really um, general recommendations for when you guys are traveling or um, when the girls are asking specific questions. So um, honestly, starting at the top, I talk about pre-event fuels that are good foods and then ones that we definitely need to avoid. So you have some very specific examples here. Um, I also have some post-event fuels. So I make the distinguish between, um, I distinguish between <laughs> um, pre-event and post-event um, on same day or any day. So immediately following a practice or a game, I have some specific snacks and specific things that would be great for refueling right after, whereas I also have things that you would want to do more so on a day-to-day -day basis or during travel. Um, I also have some intra-event fuel, so what we want to fuel with during longer practices and uh, tournaments to keep the athletes' energy levels up um, and also keeping them hydrated. Uh, from there, I do go into hydration more specifically, so addressing the um, sports drink conversation versus water. Um, and talking about what's appropriate for pre-event, post-event, during event. So you have very specific uh, direction here and also can encourage the athlete as well. Um, from there, I do break down again some general recommendations for when you guys are traveling or if the girls are asking questions. Um, very you know, general like Italian, Mexican, Greek kind of foods and then also some typical like fast food grabs like Subway and Chick-fil-A and Chipotle. Um, so you have a great variety to choose from. And I really hope that this template will be a good reference for you the entire season. And um, also as you ask questions, we can build on it with each other. And um, hopefully I can make this very specific to your needs and what you guys need for the team. So when it comes to pre-event fuel for athletes, we would probably wanna make sure we distinguish between immediately before and then what we would fuel with like four hours before. So four hours in time before, also depending on each person's digestion, you would wanna fuel with something high in carbohydrate, ideally not super processed and sugary, but true carbohydrates like fruit or like a whole wheat um, bagel or English muffin. And then uh, we want a little bit of protein, a little bit of fat, but not too much fiber. So I do note also here in the details that we want to stay away from fiber right before events to prevent any digestive issues. And then it, when it comes to immediately, like right before an event, we would want to make sure that the fuel is in more in liquid form. So smoothie or fruit juice that'll still provide the carbohydrates that the athletes are needing, but also it should be digested easily. So when it comes to specifics, fiber for example, athletes wouldn't want to be eating vegetables like carrots and hummus right before an event because it will take longer to digest and it will be in their intestines during the game. You would want things that will digest faster, so fruits are really great because the body processes them really quick. Uh, when it comes to fats, some people do tolerate like peanut butter and almond butter in a quicker standpoint, and for some people it does take longer to digest. So that could be more athlete specific. Like I would recommend probably starting with like one tablespoon with your English muffin and then seeing how that digests or one tablespoon of peanut butter with a banana and seeing how that digests. Because the longer it is before a game, you do want more fuel. So you will need more calories and you do want like the carb source, like fruit or the whole wheat. And then you do want protein from like the nut butter um, or maybe protein bars, which we'll get into in a little bit. So when it comes to fueling our athletes like in between matches, we wanna make sure that they are eating foods that digest quick uh, but also will provide the right kind of energy and nourish them. So I typically recommend you know, heavy har carbohydrate sources here as well. So uh, apples and bananas, uh, whatever's well tolerated by the athlete. And then if you want to put in some protein or some a little bit of fat in there, so like peanut butter crackers with the apple uh, to help hold over their hunger, that'll give them good energy. We do wanna also stay away from the vegetables here because they will take longer to digest and may provide discomfort. Again, though, that can be athlete specific. Um, those are probably the top twos. You could also do like a protein bar 
Um, Cliff Bars are really good options because they are oats and they break down fairly easily, but like I would recommend like the snack sizes in between games. So like the kids box um, has like a smaller bar and so that'll digest pretty quick and give them the right kind of energy that they're looking for. So when it comes to fueling in the longer caps, I would recommend something that digests easily uh, but has more nourishment behind it. So something like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich uh, that's gonna have that protein, still have the good carbohydrates, uh, like a turkey sandwich, depending on what the athlete's preference is. Uh, but I would stay away from, again, heavy vegetables and things that are going to take longer to digest just because of potential discomfort in mixing in the digestive system and choose foods that will be rapid in digestion. Fruit is still good. Um, maybe fruit, like dried fruit as well, is an option there as a side dish. So when it comes to food specifics like picky eaters or food intolerances, I try to stick to the basics. So if they like pretzels, see if we can do pretzels with peanut butter or almond butter to up some of that nutrient content. Uh, or when it's an intolerance, you want to try to stay as natural as possible. So if we can't do bread, find some way to vessel almond butter, peanut butter into the mouth like bananas or banana chips or a gluten-free bagel, um, something that will still be the vessel of food like it would be for others. So when it comes to hydration, day before events, we want to make sure the athletes are well hydrated up to the recommendation of what I would give my clients for an any day hydration level, but most of us honestly don't hit and it's honestly it's half of your body weight in fluid ounces. So if you're 120 pounds, it's 60 ounces of water. So figuring out what that would be in water bottles, that's like my bare minimum. So from there, per athlete, if they know they need more, if they've been vigorously working out the week before, you will need more fluids. Um, when it comes to the day of, I typically will start making my recommendations like up to four hours before an event. So you, yes, you want to be hydrated throughout the day, but four hours before an event is where I really pay attention to how much you're drinking. So there's a really kind of specific calculation that I use, and I have that detailed here in the form, um, in this uh, format here, and it's five to seven milliliters of water per kilogram of body weight. So for like a 150 pound athlete, that would be like a cup and a half to two cups of water. So, and that's four hours right before the event. So some people do start tapering. So during the event, they're not running to the bathroom, but you've well hydrated early in the morning and the day before. So your body should be good on fluids. When it comes to after an event, I again, continue with my recommendation of have you hit that minimum water per day? And then also listening to your body. So do you, notice that you're dehydrated, are you thirstier, paying attention to those cues is my best recommendation for each athlete because there's not a specific recommendation I can get for such a wide group. Uh, when it comes to the sport drink question, uh, it, there's a lot of different research that points in both directions. Uh, in sweat, you lose electrolytes and salt, but really when you're sweating, you're losing, like your body's expending carbohydrates. So that's the number one thing that we're trying to replace with sports drinks is the carbohydrates. So like in a typical 16 ounce drink like Gatorade, you should get roughly 30 grams of carbs, which is what your body needs almost every hour, probably for these age of athletes. Once you start moving into like the professional athletes and you're in your 20s, your body will need more because you are larger, uh, you're taller, your body needs more fluid. But at this age, 30 grams of carbohydrates from a 16 ounce sports drink would be fine per hour is what I'm seeing currently in the research. Beyond that, water would be fine to continue hydration uh, after an event, especially of greater than 60 minutes is really when you wanna pay attention to uh, fluid loss and electrolyte loss does happen in the sweat, but not to a significant amount that we need to replenish that. So the sports drink is again more for carbohydrate and then the electrolytes do also stimulate thirst, which is good, uh, helps with the rehydration. Okay, so general recommendations when it comes to breakfast, we're on the road, you guys are providing the food. It's gotta be simple, but still very nourishing and fueling of your athletes in the morning time. Um, 
I would definitely start with some something that's gonna fill them up like a bagel or whole wheat toast but pay attention to fiber content so like I've mentioned before we want to make sure that fiber is lower on the day of competition maybe a few days prior that's when the athletes should be loading up on fiber clearing out their digestive system but day of we don't want any intestinal discomfort so I typically recommend something lower on the fiber end uh, then we've got some fruit options you can put peanut butter or almond butter on top of the bagel um, Greek yogurt is a great option depending on the person as long as they're not lactose intolerant or have issues with dairy uh, and cheese sticks are good as well for providing some protein nourishment as well as energy um, if someone is dairy intolerant that's probably when I would turn to like a protein bar that's going to be friendly for that so making sure they still get in their carbs and their protein and something that's going to digest fast I think day of is a priority so I hope that today was really resourceful and provided a lot of good information to get you guys started any questions that you have please send them my way um, I hope to continue to build on this relationship and hopefully I can learn from you as you guys are learning from me uh, also if athletes have specific questions so individual needs um, we're working on putting something together to where I can work with them personally like in a one-on-one -on -one setting um, for very specific things like um, you know allergies or preferences things like that so uh, feel forward them over to me my contact information is below <laughs> and um, again any questions forward them my way I look forward to working with you guys during the season